hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to spending time avec severina salut les gars bienvenue sur ma chaîne bienvenue passer du temps avec severina so obviously guys i am at work i'm in my office uh, i've not had the time to make a video in 2020 because i've been busy i've just been busy and yeah i planned it all the time and i just i just yeah so um today is what 28th january and this is my first video of 2020 so happy 2020 happy new year i know i'm coming late but um i'm not really a new year resolution kind of person that's why i didn't really feel the need to make the video a little bit earlier sorry guys i'll have like three distractions here and there because i'm in my office so yeah so like that's why i didn't make that will be earlier to be like oh happy new year blah 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 because like i'm more of like an everyday resolution type of person like every day is important tomorrow is not promised so like wake up every day like it's your last and as you're going to bed um just you know pray and um you you don't know what what will happen tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised and like um yeah so just make an everyday kind of resolution that's what i do most that's why i did not make this video any earlier to be like hey happy new year but happy new year nonetheless and yeah uh guys basically uh this weekend has been a hard weekend you know for the whole world uh especially for america uh because of the death of um kobe bryant and his daughter and other people other cis people who were on the helicopter crash so obviously i want to say r.i.p to them may they rest in peace and may they you know find peace wherever they are and for the families like my condolences and all that because it's, it's really you know a shocking thing and it's unexpected obviously death is always unexpected but this one came as a strong shock um so yeah um also um you know so that's that and i had a bit of sad news from my house this morning uh obviously that's also another thing and um online i've seen people like going back and forth about no um if you don't know Kobe Bryant personally why are you saying rrp blah 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 like but i feel like there's no need you know where's your humanity um a loss is a lot whether you know the person personally or not is still a loss and you know everyone is a human and you just need to sympathize you know uh yeah so today's topic is gonna be friendships who guys have been going back and forth for the longest time trying to make this video uh and talk about this because it's a very important topic for me and uh, it's a sensitive topic because i feel like it's my life experience basically yeah so guys don't mind if my accent is a bit funny it's because i've i've drawn myself watching love island the uk one and the accent is just messing up with my own accent and if you if you know me personally you know i just pick up accent naturally i've never been to the uk but then again i just do that so don't come for me from her accent but basically yeah i just want to talk about friendship in a sense that in life yeah when you grow up and you know as you're growing up you go to school you start working you meet people and you build bonds and friendships yeah so um i did have like that i built friendships and along the way i did not know how to call people out when they did when they do me wrong you know um when i was younger i didn't know how to make people accountable or call them out and be like oh yo you did this to me and i didn't like you right i'm always a bit like careful i'm like i don't want to hurt their feelings and i don't want to make them feel bad and you know i'll always make excuses so then i didn't know that because i was doing that and they were doing me wrong i kept keeping back my hurt which was just building up right so um 
that happened and happened and happened and let's 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 uh let's give an example something as little as my time i'm someone um i hate being um uh, kept waiting um i make sure i try to be on time so if you have an appointment and you're late or you don't even show up at all and you don't have the decency to kind of call me to like explain what happened that would throw me off so something like that might happen something like that did happen in my kind of friendships and the person didn't feel the need or didn't think it was important enough for them to say something about it those kind of things i keep like building them up or something as much as if um i trust you or if like i feel like i trusted you and i did something out of that for you and then you you um blew you threw me under a bus so that's also that like those kind of things happen and then instead of attacking the person and like saying outright like listen yeah you did this and i didn't appreciate it i didn't know how to do that so i'll just keep it in so it was all you know adding and adding and adding up and <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing at that point i was just trying to be the giver like oh i listen to my friends uh complain about their boyfriends and i listen up I, I just listen i just try to be there but then i started realizing that maybe um they are not they don't consider me on that level of friendship as i consider them because i feel like oh that's my best friend or that's this person so i'm supposed to be there for them and i'm supposed to do this for them and i'm supposed to, but sometimes i see things simple things that just uh explain to me basically that they don't consider you like that so fast forward to 2017 uh 2017 was a very very strong year for me because 2016 uh i 2016 was when i started youtube uh before starting youtube i did call off an engagement i was engaged to a dude so i called it off and that was a huge step because if you're an african you know that that's a huge step you know to go that far and now say i don't want to do this anymore because our parents are involved families are involved and um in africa like we say elders are involved so to go through that process was tough so 2017 was a year i took to kind of work on myself and work on my self-love uh which is a pro like an everyday journey and just work on my worth my self-worth because at that point i was really battling with that i didn't know what my worth was and all that so my boss is in guys oh god so like i didn't really know what my worth or was uh being it relationship wise or friendship wise so taking that time in 2017 to work on myself i then realized that i've been taking bullshit that i was not supposed to be taking and i did take it all throughout so when while i was working on myself to get there and be able to address these things and talk to these people involved that listen um i've been I've, I'm, I've been going through this and i want to let you know blah 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 you know basically i was just taking the time to like let me get comfortable with myself then i can call such and such and be like listen this is this and this is that through that such um uh, the particular person involved or the particular people involved one of them decided to call me out on a situation that was not important um that was not something that i did out of um malicious and like i didn't do the thing i didn't do the thing like intentionally to hurt this particular person you know if i'm looking outside you got my boss is there so this person decided to call me out on something like that and me being in the middle of working on myself and working on myself what i felt um i felt very attacked i felt um i felt like this person did not actually 
um care about me because like obviously i've had this anger and these things that you've done me wrong all like from all the years that i'm now working through and you have for me that's how i saw it at that time i, I felt like now you have the guts to call me out on something that was not even done to hurt you and you were mad about the whole thing so i burst out you know all the anger everything came out and i just told the particular person i listen we are friends we are like i know you you know me and i do love you but i don't think we're friends because like the things that you've done or the things that you've said about me that i've heard so far and like the way you've treated me i don't think we're friends i feel like we know each other and obviously if i see you on the road i will not walk by i will definitely talk to you but to say that we are friends i don't think we are that anymore and this particular person got very offended and felt like no you can't say that to me being here now today i do feel like i went about the whole thing wrong and i do understand why she might feel attacked because i didn't even have the time to take her through the journey that i was going through i just came out here with everything that was in me so i do get why she'll be um she feel attacked so, so all that just goes to say that in life yeah we in life the important things for me is god family friends you know people around you and when i say friends i mean people that give you back the amount of love you give them in sense of friendship relationship family wise you know just Hold those people close because that's the most important thing human relationship is very important so if you're in a friendship if you're in a relationship just know your worth and if you feel like you're giving more than the other person is giving please make sure you let them know that listen i feel like i'm giving too much it's not it's, it doesn't have anything to do with material like financial or gifts or whatever it's more like on an emotional level support system listening to someone and being there for someone those kind of things um so if you feel like you're giving more than the other person is giving definitely definitely let them know so that they work on that and you know if you feel like this person's uh, whatever they are doing right now is not giving you a good vibe or is not really building you up for what you where you want to be yeah you can just get out of that kind of friendship or relationship uh talk to the person or just tell them listen you're good but i don't think this friendship is working it's not like you're breaking up with that person you won't talk to that person ever again but it's just for your own sanity you definitely have to put yourself first when it comes to those kind of situations because they are a bit you know mental because it's emotional emotions are involved and things so yeah that's what i would basically like to talk about and you know just be honest just be honest and if someone offends you don't keep it in don't be like me don't keep them you know boxed in and then one day to just come out just make sure you tell the person right there and there what's going on and you know why you feel the way you feel uh if they love you and if they really care about you they would understand you know for your own sanity yeah so that's basically what i have to Tell you guys today like i said it's been a hard weekend and a hard week but i feel like life goes on obviously not for the people who are mourning and not for the people who are grieving but for the rest of the world we have to wake up and we have to move on we will still pray for those who are mourning and grieving uh their loved ones and that's that so uh happy 2020 i am here i am back and yeah that's i don't know what else to say but thank you so much for watching my video even if it's one person two person that watch it i still do appreciate it a lot that you guys always just stick around to hear me blab talk and see you in my next video guys and yeah short hair girl has now gone and wear we fun so yes short hair is still underneath this but we're just switching things up a bit so have a nice day have a nice week have a nice year bye guys